Welcome to ILTV's Evening Update. I'm Natalie Tversky, here with the latest news from Israel. Israeli forces have raided a print shop in the Jerusalem area for manufacturing posters praising and supporting terrorists. Troops have confiscated the shop's printing equipment, along with the posters and materials used for incitement. One of the posters commended Hamas activist Mesba Abu Sabi, who was involved in a fatal shooting attack earlier this month in Jerusalem, an attack that left two people dead and six others injured. Abu Sabi was killed by Israeli forces after fleeing the scene of the attack. Following this attack, several other people were apprehended for praising Abu Sabi's actions. The print shop celebrating his life has been shut down under the order of IDF Central Command. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is denying that he said U.S. President Barack Obama poses an existential danger to the settlement enterprise. Israel's Channel 2 News claims the leader said that the settlement should be worried during the period between the U.S. elections and the end of Obama's term. The Prime Minister's office has swiftly denied the report, saying the Prime Minister did not make those comments. Yet, the statement does note that in the past there were presidents who pushed initiatives that were inconsistent with Israeli interests at the end of their terms. Netanyahu hopes the situation will not repeat itself and that the U.S. will not change its long-standing policy to prevent anti-Israel decisions at the U.N. Security Council. A California resident, Muhannad Badawi, has been convicted for attempting to assist a friend make his way to the Middle East to fight for the Islamic State. According to federal prosecutors, the 25-year-old has been sentenced to prison for 30 years, along with the man who recruited him, Nadar El Huzayel. El Huzayel previously appeared in a video swearing allegiance to the Islamic State leader and then pledging to enlist in the terrorist group. Prosecutors say the two ISIS supporters continuously use social media to express their allegiance to the Islamic State. Badawi is the first person to be convicted and sentenced for such charges in the federal court. Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas has appointed a new Palestinian Authority ambassador to the United States. In what is being seen as a new move to inject new blood into the Palestinian Hussam Zamlot, who has most recently been serving as Abbas's advisor for strategic affairs, will be replacing Dr. Ma'in Erekat, who is set to be appointed as the Palestinian ambassador to London. Prior to his appointment as a strategic affairs advisor, Zamlat served as a deputy in charge of Fatah's foreign relations and stood in as Fatah's acting international relations commissioner. Zamlat's appointment takes place on the eve of the Fatah's Central Committee's convention, which may indicate Abbas's desire to pass on authority to the next generation. Zamlat's appointment takes place on the eve of the Fatah Central Committee's convention, which may indicate Abbas's desire to pass on authority to the next generation. That's all for now. Stay tuned on ILTV.TV for our main daily broadcast playing after this. I'm Natalie Tversky, and see you tomorrow with our morning briefing from Israel at 8 a.m. Eastern Time.